Thursday forecast, see some showers over there in Connecticut. Are they uh, making their way east? Well, they're trying to, Patrick. They're mostly falling as just some sprinkles, but maybe enough to need to turn on your windshield wiper once to, to clear that windshield off. Most of the uh, showers right now in and around Rhode Island, but uh, you can see as we widen out the view where there's a little bit more of that activity. Let's take a look at the last few hours while you were sleeping. So the reason if you step outside and notice the ground's a little damp, we've been seeing these sprinkles and showers over the last few hours that have popped up. Threat tracker, we're going to keep it in the green for today, and I kind of hesitated with that, whether to take it up to the medium threat level. We do have a chance for an isolated, non-severe shower or thunderstorm developing in the late afternoon or early evening. Now, the greatest risk of seeing that's going to be in the northwestern part of Rhode Island. They could contain some hail and some gusty winds, and it's something that we'll be keeping an eye on. The timing of that can late afternoon and evening after 3 o'clock through about sunset. Friday's threat tracker is low, still looking at a beautiful day to finish the week, and Saturday we're going to keep it dry during the daytime. Could see some rainfall Saturday night, though. Looking at the temperatures outside right now, 40s and 50s. It's 52 Providence and Westerly. Lots of clouds around this morning as you wake up. View from Narragansett showing that sun blocked by a lot of this cloud cover here. Now, some of this cloudiness will give way to some partial sunshine, but trouble for us today is that we've got an area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So not at the surface, but higher up in the sky, and that's going to create some instability for us, and that'll lead to the potential for that pop up shower or thunderstorm late in the day and there's certainly a higher risk outside of Rhode Island into Massachusetts and Connecticut and our future cast showing some of that trying to pop up here through the late afternoon and early evening. Notice how it has a tough time getting anywhere east or southeast of Providence with that just fizzling out through the evening hours and then tomorrow looking at uh, partly to mostly sunny skies dry day on the way for you. Commute future cast for this morning will be getting up into the 50s those early sprinkles and clouds giving way to some partial sun Sunshine. Warmest temperatures today will be inland. You'll climb into the 60s at the coast. This is too cool, Narragansett and Charlestown, but we do get a wind out of the southeast in the afternoon, so you will fall back into the 50s after reaching into the 60s. Best chance of a shower thunderstorm are in these communities over Kent County, Providence County, Burrowville, and Socket, 68 and Situate, upper 60s, Seekonk, mid 60s, New Bedford. Any early shower in the evening gives way to clearing skies. It'll be cooler as those temperatures fall into the 40s. So let's take a look at that Saturday future cast again. Again, increasing clouds, but dry through the daytime on Saturday. This is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. As we approach 9 o'clock in the evening, a lot of this activity is still off to our south and west. Watch what happens overnight, though. Some of that rain pushes in. This is 7 a.m. Sunday morning, so the highest chance of rain Saturday night, Sunday morning. By Sunday afternoon, those showers will start to taper a little bit. I don't know that we'll completely dry out, but the wettest part of the day does look to be Sunday morning. Here's a look at the seven-day future cast. So upper 60s today. A nice warm up on Friday with a high of 74 degrees will be under partly to mostly sunny skies. Great looking day. Saturday is still again forecasting that to be dry during the day. Notice with the clouds and the showers around it's cooler on Sunday. Highs only in the 60s with uh, lots of clouds around through the day may get a little bit of sun later in the afternoon. Monday and Tuesday still looking a bit unsettled. Some of our computer models keeping the risk of showers around Wednesday is when we look to turn the corner getting back to warmer and drier weather.